Tonight, news about an urgent wildlife crisis. A deadly fungal disease called white nose syndrome is sweeping across North America, wiping out millions of bats. CBS's Dave Malkoff in Highland, North Carolina, went underground as scientists race to save these vital creatures. This is a gold mine from the 1800s. We're only in here because we have permission. 20 feet below the ground, there's a race against time. You could easily get hurt. We are underground. It's a lot of slippery rocks. Things are unstable. North Carolina's tricolored bats are also unstable. That's a bat right there. They're among several species of bats who are quickly dying off in the dark. Oh, there's another one. Wow, look at his little ears coming down and the wings. They hang from their toes, just like in the cartoons and storybooks of our childhood. Biologist Lindsay Zarecki and Olivia Munzer are trying to save them, mainly because the bats eat the same bugs that kill crops. As bat populations are declining, we see that there's a greater need for use of pesticides. These flying creatures may look scary, but the real monster in this cold and damp death trap is a highly infectious bat flesh decomposing fungus that will gnaw their wings right down to the bone. Today we're just getting a count to see what is here and how many of them are there. And there's only a handful left, but it's not the fungus that kills them. During the winter hibernation, their white noses start to itch, waking them up when they go out looking for food. That is just going to fly through here. They end up wasting precious calories looking for bugs that aren't in season and they starve. But up here with bat expert Rada Petrick. This serves as a buffet for bats. Fat bat is a bright bug attracting light placed about a tennis court away from the bat cave. How about if we fatten the bats enough right before they go into hibernation that it increases the likelihood of them surviving the winter. These creatures of the dark potentially saved by a 12 volt light. Dave Malkoff, CBS News, Highlands, North Carolina.